Hi, I'm Gray and this is Hub Guitar. I'm here to talk to you about the Abalone Shell guitar pick. This is probably one of the most visually striking guitar picks that I own. It looks like a sort of glowing rainbow or a puddle of gasoline kind of texture to it, so it's very cool. Abalone Shell, of course, is probably not very easy to work with and fashion to a, a pick. That's probably why it's so expensive. I think I paid maybe $15 or more for this. I got it from a company called Timber Tones. They kind of specialize in in a neat, visually interesting guitar picks. They even have a monthly pick of the month subscription where you can have some surprise pick sent to you every month if you're really into that. When I pick up this pick and hold it in my hand, it feels smooth and, and kind of glossy and glassy. And uh, I, I normally would probably use it a little bit more for lead than I would for strumming, but uh, let's do some chords with it and see what that sounds like. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's coming out uh, perfectly in the recording or not, but it definitely has a bit of a, I don't want to say shrill, but definitely it leans towards the higher end there on the audio frequency. So it's going to emphasize those highs and sound a bit bright, basically. Uh, that makes it nice for a lead. Now this guitar I'm playing is also a very bright guitar, so I don't think this is a match made in heaven. I think this might work a little bit better uh, in my experience. I've used this on guitars that sound a bit darker. Those that are made of mahogany sound, tend to sound a little bit darker. So it's a, maybe a better match for that. Um, but honestly, if you're gonna have a pick like this that looks like this, you're probably not really playing it just because of the actual you know, feeling and sound of it being played. I think people are attracted to this pick just because it's so visually striking. It is a very cool pick. Uh, and it's, it's definitely playable. I was a little bit surprised. I thought that I wouldn't even be able to play with this pick because it would be so um, kind of scratchy and bright, but that's not true. I can definitely play with it. So a lot of the exotic or interesting picks that I've had, I couldn't even really play with them because they just didn't really feel right on the strings. But this is definitely, you know, it's doable as a guitar pick. It's pretty neat. So that's my thoughts on the tone. I think the tone definitely is a bit bright. I think that you can hear that as soon as you, you play it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, in terms of would I buy this pick again, I don't know. I think this is really one of the most special picks in my collection because it's so visually striking. Uh, as a teacher and a performer and an educator and doing these videos, it's really nice that I can have a, a cool a pick like this to play with on screen that kind of grabs uh, your attention. But as a player, as a practicer, uh, as a learner myself, I, no, I don't really have a strong need for this pick. Uh, so it's a, it's a great thing for my collection. Uh, if I lost it, I, I probably would have to replace it because it's so cool, but I don't think it's one of the uh, top you know, three essential picks that you need to add to your collection. Uh, but I don't know, maybe you can grab one for yourself and uh, decide for yourself what you think.